Hi, I am Yo-Yo Bandalore, and today I'm going to give a quick review of Bucky Cubes from Zoom Doggle. These are the same folks that brought you Bucky Balls. The first thing I want to talk about that uh, impressed me when I opened the package was the size. Uh, the Bucky Cubes are smaller and uh, not as many as in a Bucky Ball set. The Bucky Cubes come in a 5x5x5 five by five by five cube, 125 cube magnets. I don't have the full cube here because I have several of the magnets back here in the background already in constructions. But this is a 5x5 five five side and if you compare that to say a uh, Bucky Ball set which is 6x6x6 by six by six, you see a noticeable difference in size. Uh, the Bucky Balls are 5mm and after a little calculation I found out uh, that the cubes are about four millimeters basically what I did was I took the entire 125's and put into a single strand and measured that strand and after I put everything out there I found out it was 19.75 inches you divide that by 125 and I got a value just a hair over four millimeters so we're definitely dealing with something a bit smaller than uh, uh, the Bucky Balls. <clears throat> the next thing is what can I make with these? Well I started folding them and putting them together and seeing what I could do and I've had a lot of experience with the spheres but uh, I just really wasn't coming up with any cool stuff to make with the cubes. You know granted I can make cubes and bricks and stack things but I was wanting to make something along the lines of an icosahedron or a dodecahedron or a tetrahedron but it wasn't coming to me until I do something new into the mix and what was that? Well that was using steelies or chrome steel bearings. Uh, in this construction I have uh, made an icosahedron these are 10 millimeter steel spheres and once I introduce those I can really start making some cool things. Uh, here's a square pyramid that I made. This could be extended on the other side and you make an octahedron. You could extend the triangular faces here and do some nice stellations to make sort of a star. Here's a simple tetrahedron. I challenge you to try and make a tetrahedron with the Bucky Cubes alone. It's not very easy and it doesn't look as good as this. The bearings, the spheres, really bring this all together. Now you can use buckyballs as the connectors, but in my opinion they don't look as good. You really want to have a larger sphere as the connector. If we've got four millimeter cubes, I would say at a minimum we'd want maybe an eight millimeter sphere because as you start to make things a bit more complex like this you've got more cubes touching the sphere and you really want more surface area for those to come together now in regards to the spheres uh, you can get those on eBay I found a store called uh, Tool Supply that has a large selection of different sizes uh, you can also get those in other magnetic kits uh, at a site called Educational Innovations, teachersource.com. They have a magnetic sculpture kit that has 50 10 millimeter balls along with 100 cylindrical magnets. The magnets are uh, 5 millimeters by 13 millimeters. And you can use that to make similar constructions as to this. Right here we have a uh, buckyball on top, 10 millimeter over here, and a half inch over here. A uh, half inch is about 12.7 millimeters. So you've got 5, 10, and then 12.7 to give you an idea of how big they are. Now <clears throat> I've got some other cube magnets, a quarter inch, and I just wanted to show you some of the shapes I've made with this. Uh, basically I've got quarter inch cubes here. These are not Bucky cubes. These are other magnets I got from another source used with the half inch bearings. So I made a cubo octahedron. Uh, here I've made uh, basically it's called a Stella Octangula. It's the intersection of two tetrahedrons and that intersection in the center 
is actually an octahedron. So this is a very cool shape. In this case I've got the quarter inch magnets and in this one I'm using the 10 millimeter balls. So the steelies really bring this stuff together and you know I appreciate uh, Zoom Doggle's uh, efforts into bring a new product to the market to help us uh, you know keep things going but I think it was sort of a swing and a miss with the Bucky Cubes. If they had taken something uh, and uh, called it Bucky Sculptures and brought the cubes in with steel spheres already in there so you can make some of these cool figures I think it would have been a much bigger hit and I would have enjoyed it a lot more. For those of you that already have the Bucky Cubes, again, go out, get some Steelies. Uh, I think you'll really appreciate all the different things that you'll be able to make once you bring the spheres into the equation. So uh, following this video, I'm going to have some stills of uh, different figures I've made to give you an idea. And I hope you enjoy it. Uh, you know, again, Bucky Cubes have their place, but uh, they need a little something added to the recipe to... Uh, enhance the flavor. So I hope you enjoyed this review. You guys have a good day.